Every day, some 8,000 Spaniards cross the border between Spain and Gibraltar to work on the rock. Now they're worried about Brexit. They're afraid of losing their jobs or being required to apply for a visa, which means lines will go on forever, as explained by Gemma Salcedo, who has worked as a store clerk for 15 years. Instead of taking five minutes to cross the border, it could take three or four hours. Gibraltar is also the economic engine of this area of southern Spain. It is estimated that it generates 26% of the gross domestic product. Not only does it create employment, companies in the area export goods and services to Gibraltar. It is well known by the owner of this motorcycle store, who fears for the future of his business. My business depends a lot on Gibraltar. 90% of my motorcycles go to Gibraltar. I also sell furniture. Here, turnover is a little less dependent. In Gibraltar, they are also concerned. The Jib Maroc company imports fresh produce arriving by road from Europe. And for them, it's essential that traffic on the border remains fluid. The owner thinks that an agreement is possible, but affirms that they are prepared for any outcome. The Gibraltarians being the um, survivors and true entrepreneurs that we are, we turn things around and I would say within 48 hours on that Monday morning there was a different emphasis, there was a different thrust and Gibraltarians were already looking to turn it around in our favor and see how we could um, apply ourselves to the challenge. The population of the ROC voted solidly against Brexit. Almost 96% said no to the United Kingdom leaving the European Union. Brexit is a source of permanent concern here in Gibraltar. But many think it could be also an opportunity to solve some of the contentions that have been pending with Spain for many years. Spain has pushed aside the question of sovereignty, but it hopes to use Brexit to solve other issues. Mainly the joint use of Gibraltar airport, the end of pollutant discharges into the sea and the fight against the smuggling of cigarettes. But the most controversial point remains fiscal transparency, as confirmed by the chief minister of Gibraltar. Today we don't yet have an agreement, a final agreement in relation to matters relating to taxation and fiscal matters. But I think we made a lot of good progress there because we share objectives. And so if you share objectives and you haven't yet reached technical agreement, you can continue to be optimistic that the technicians will be able to give effect to the agreement in principle that there is between the politicians. An agreement between Madrid and London seems really close. But in case of failure, Spain could exclude Gibraltar from the agreement on Brexit and its transition period.